Hey guys, John here from Stack the Pads. Uh, happy St. Patrick's Day. I got my green on, Green Bay Packers. I'm part owner of them. Uh, so in honor of St. Patrick's Day, uh, I decided to show you how to input um, the Joe Bowen uh, Holy Mackinac clip uh, that I have at the very beginning of, of my intro. And uh, I'll show you how it's done. And as always, uh, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. And if you got any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. Uh, or if you want to see something else, uh, let me know and I will do my best to get to it. Okay, take care. Okay, so the very first thing that we have to do is go and find the clip that we want to take the audio from. So I'm going to go into YouTube. I will type... will be to Shen. It got away from him, and now Harris Salani trying to work in. He goes wide. Pump check there and greatly by Gustafson. What a play that was by the youngster. Back to the point now, and Boingen with a shot. The rebound. Stop, Holly Bacchino. What a save Gustafson makes. And the lead. Okay, so that's the voice clip that I want. I'm going to come down to share. I'm going to copy this URL. And then I will minimize. And I will come over here, I will go to Vidly YouTube Downloader. So there are a ton of different uh, download uh, YouTube downloader programs that you can use. I just chose Vidly just because it was the very first one at the top of the list. Um, because it's only the voice clip that I want, I'm gonna download it in MP3 and close that, go back to Filmora. Now I'm gonna go find my clip. Now, Vidly will save the file the exact same name as what the YouTube uh, uh, title of it is. So here it is right here. It'll import the clip. Then I'll take the clip and I will bring it down to my audio track. And it populates it in through here. I could see all the peaks and everything else. and I could see what the volume is. So here I have to do a little bit of editing to it because there is some play by play before and after. Axel B to Shen. It got away from him and now Harris Alani trying to work in. He goes wide. Pump check there and greatly by Gustafson. What a play that was by the youngster. Back to the point now and Boingen with a shot. The rebound. Stop! Okay. So let's zoom in a little bit more here. So as you can see, there's right where Joe Bowen says stop. That's all stop right here. This is all the buildup to him being very excited about Holy Mackinac. So we'll, cr we'll crank up the volume just a little bit more so you can see the, uh, the peaks. So what we'll do is we'll tab back just a couple of frames, make our split, and we'll delete. We'll let it play out. Holy what a save. Okay, so I want to keep that what a save in there also. So we'll tab forward just to get that all of the, the word save. Hit control B again. Delete the track. Reset it. Holy Bacchino, what a save. There we go. Okay, so now let's input this into a, uh, a clip. I got a clip here. Okay, so after the shot and then the big rebound is where I want to have the Holy Mackinac. So I'll bring down my video. I'll keep it all the same. Now I'm just going to uh, mute it. So do a right click and we go to mute and it mutes that whole thing. So now all the background music in there is completely gone. And what I'll also do is I will mute the Joe Bowen clip so that I could find that exact spot. So I'll replay the clip. Okay, so the shot comes up. Here's the shot. I'll tab forward a few frames. 
And right there off of the kick save on the rebound, that's where I want to have the Holy Mackinac. So we'll minimize that, and then I'll just shift my clip right there. So we'll reset the footage, we'll unmute the audio, and we'll play it. Okay, so that's pretty well timed. If, if it didn't line up, I could always just adjust it uh, a couple of frames to the left or to the right. But yeah, that uh, that actually lines right up. So if I wanted to stretch out the audio clip to be a little bit longer so I can get like that longer, holy mackinaw, I can just come here and click on my clip, do a right click, go to speed and duration, and we'll slow it down and say a quarter speed. So 0.75. Okay, so it stretches it out. We'll come back here. We'll replay the clip. Holy mackerel, what a save! It still sounds pretty good, and it's still lined up pretty well with the with the save. So yeah, that's how you input uh, an audio clip into your hockey game. Hope that helped. Uh, if you got any questions, leave them in the comments below.